Hello, I'm Rosie Justilian, your Miss Miami Gardens 2009. Welcome to the 2010 Miss Miami Gardens Scholarship Pageant. And now, for the moment, for the reason we're here tonight, to crown our new Miss Miami Gardens 2010. New Miss Miami Gardens 2010 and winner of a $2,500 scholarship. Let's get into it. Who is the light? You're blinded by the action. You need that. My platform is using the arts to create unity within the community. I have arrived, baby, and I will walk away with this trophy. I am Adriana Smith. And I'm a 19-year-old freshman at Florida International University. I will be bringing home the crown tonight. My platform is keeping arts alive. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Janae Tate, your contestant number three, and I am bringing home the title. My platform is MVP. Mentoring and volunteer with passion. My name is Angelica Spicer, and tonight is the pageant, and I believe I am the next Miss Miami Gardens 2010-2011. My platform is early detection of breast cancer is the best protection. Hi, my name is Centrinus Norman. Tonight is the night that I've been waiting on. My platform statement is boosting to your self-esteem. I am I am going to bring the crown home tonight. This is just not a walk, people. There are gowns, there are shoes, there is makeup and hair and accessories. Please stand and give a most gracious welcome to our Miss Miami Gardens 2009, Miss Rosie Justilia. There's a lot of energy flowing. I feel excited, anxious, kind of a little bit silly, you know, just that bubbly feeling. You know when you get that feeling? To me, you are so beautiful. As I walk
walk across the stage tonight made me feel as though I achieved something because seeing my mother out there in the audience working hard just to put me through school and then I'm doing something good is actually it's gonna make me feel very very proud and my little brother is coming so I can show him you are so I will definitely try to keep my composure. That's the key to being successful in those segments on stage. You have to look confident and comfortable on stage. Can't you see? I can't do nothing without my support system, which includes my family and my friends. And I know when I'm on that stage, when I hear them screaming my name, I'm just gonna rip the stage and just do my best. <laughs> When I'm walking across the stage, I'm feeling comfortable, confident, I'm feeling myself. I see my mother, my father, my sister, my brothers, my niece, my nephew, my cousin, my auntie. <laughs> Everybody in the audience looking at me, it's my show. Now we can welcome to the stage Councilman Melvin L. Bratton. He is the executive director of the Miss Miami Gardens. Who's going to win? <laughs> First special award overall interview uh, with the $100 scholarship goes to contestant number one, Miss Abigail. <laughs> Scholarship. Contestant number one, Miss Abigail. The Rosie Desillian Scholar Award. Contestant number one. The Miami Gardens Miracle Worker. One hundred dollar scholarship goes to number one. The second runner up and winner of a five hundred dollar scholarship is. Contestant number four, Angelica Eisler. The first runner-up and winner of a $1,000 scholarship is contestant number three, Miss Jenna. For the moment, and the reason we're here tonight, your new Miss Miami Gardens 2010 and winner of a $2,500 scholarship. Contestant number one. You know, now there's another young lady representing this beautiful city, and she's gonna do awesome. I can already feel it, so I'm confident. And I know the other girls, they will continue to do what they do, promote their platform, and participate in other pageants. But I'm happy. I'm elated. I actually haven't been to a pageant where they announced so many awards before they announced the winner. And so that was a little bit interesting because you're you're kind of sitting there, okay, she won that one, and then she won another one, and then she won another one. And you're like, there's no way she couldn't have won the whole thing. It was a very interesting evening. It was a group of very talented girls here today. I really enjoyed myself. We have a new, a new queen for 2010, Miss Abigail. Um, I'm looking forward to see how she represents Miami Gardens this year. Next year, 2011 is going to be even better. As we move forward as a city, they get better and better. And I commend the staff, the city council, and the parents of the contestants, and the citizens of Miami Gardens for being so helpful to make this a success. 
Congratulations to Abby because I really feel she'll make a great Miss Miami Gardens. I hung around her a lot and I know she would do a lot for our community, so I'm glad they did make that decision. Abigail did a great job. Her talent was amazing, so I am happy for her. And I, I think she's a really dedicated person, so I know she'll keep the crown and go on to Miss Florida and reign for the whole year. Well, it's a wrap. It's over. It's been a dazzling experience. I never would have dreamed that I would have become Miss Miami Gardens. And I just want to say to my competitors, Angie, Adriana, um, Janae, and Santronette, I love you guys. You guys are the greatest people in the world. Rosie, girl, I'm your mini me. Um, and I just want to say, Rafaela, you, I just, I love you all. Tamila, Stephanie, Eula, I just, I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Miami Gardens.